Buy something or bugger off. shopping. So, what's the story? Got those parts for me? Yeah, take a look. Hey, let me see what you got there. Fucking deadly. That's all of them. Give me a sec with me tools, I'll get them sorted out right and proper. Right then, that'll do you. Anything else I could be helping you with then? What exactly do you do here, Quinn? In a more civilized world, you might say I pass for the base's lead maintenance engineer. But if you look at it from Beltar's point of view, I might as well just be a glorified janitor. Pay's good, though, so, you know, not complaining. If the pay's good, why the underground market? Well, why not? You see, civilian contractors operate under different jurisdiction when it comes to bringing outside goods into the base. So while the rank and file runs can only order and receive essentials, toothpaste and the like, I, being the entrepreneurial chap that I am, from a more uh, robust catalog of goods and services. You know, the sort. Smokes, beverages, and uh, gentlemen's literature. How does this involve weapons? Now, now, let me finish. As an enterprising fellow, I require an exchange of valuables for these slightly less than essential supplies, and often receive some very non-civilian contractor regulated equipment in exchange, if you catch me drift. Now, normally, I launder my stock through a contact on the mainland. But a deal in Shanghai recently fell through, so lucky for you, I've got some excess inventory to move. To this whole arrangement, uh, a matter of fortunate timing. And Keitner is okay with all of this? Uh, not exactly. You see, some time ago, they got wind of my little operation down here. But before she could throw me in the brig, I offered her something I knew she couldn't refuse. Formation. I ain't bragging, but uh, I've managed to build myself quite a little network of sparrows and gophers. I'd known for a while that she'd been at odds with that prick, Burke. In the end, I reached a rather simple mutual agreement. I keep her in the loop, and she keeps my neck out of the noose, so to speak. Tell me about the commander, Keitner. Lieutenant commander, officially. The grunts don't pay no mind to that. She's the commander as far as they're concerned. It's the Reds who stick to the formalities, you see. Because they're Burke's boys. The spooks. Special operations. You might say there's a bit of a division of loyalty among the troops. Between Keitner's men and Burke's? Aye. Since time immortal is rivalry of sorts between grunts and... I always assumed it could go. But it's different here. Because Burke's different. What do you... Well, first man might be a righteous prick, but he's got the respect, man. And the higher up is a visionary based on some fancy tank he drummed up a few years back. In other words, the man's got a lot of influence and a lot of power and, uh... But I don't think that old proverb needs repeating here. What can you tell me about this base? Nothing you don't know, probably. To the outside world, it's a Beltar Naval Logistics Headquarters and Supply Point for their Pacific operations. Beneath the surface, though, it's much more. How so? Look, nothing personal, mate, but I prefer if the commander do most of the informing. As far as I'm concerned, the less I know, and more importantly, the less I say in this matter, the better off we all are. Buy something or bugger off. Satisfaction guaranteed. Unless, of course.
Well, yeah. No money back guarantee, oh. Thanks for shopping at Quinn Mart. Agent security scan. Biometric data assembled. Set recognized. Access granted. Processing, you will undergo a preliminary medical...
spit away, man. Sent me in your detention camp and uploading to the secure. Copy that. Nothing I couldn't get rid of. Oh, we'll talk about that later. Right now you need to get in interrogation wing and find a wedding. Contact me when you know. Kitner out.
Activating security scan. Biometric data. Recognized. Granted.